there are two chances either that it at here the balance we can make a deduction or we can have the interest 24381 one or two rupees may be difference so less option are less or lesser than pv of cash outflow and the buying option it is advisable to take the asset on lease just multiply the discount factor for the value of all so this type will come we have newly introduced now so the lease method will come like this should just multiply with the discount factor the answer is so much hello my dear student i am dr b s subramanya called by name dr b s s professor in commerce and management vidyashram first grade college a temple of excellence mysore in this session i am going to hang advanced financial accounting second semester unit 5 session 3 in favor of leasing in the last session i already told in leasing there is an agreement between the two parties which are the two parties are one is the lessor and is the lessee which are the two parties are one is the lessor and is the lessor lessor is the owner whereas the lessee is a man who are the person who takes the responsibility or we can take the rights of the lessor is taken by the lessee utilizer of the land maybe 2 years 3 years so the agreement goes between these two party we call as leasing we'll move on to problem now problem number 1 a listed company is interested in acquiring the use of an asset costing rupees 5 lakh it has two option to borrow the amount at 18% This is important. Borrow the amount that is five lakh at eighteen percent, repayable in five equal instalment. The amount will be paid back in five equal instalment. To take on lease the asset for a period of five year, year end rental value is one lakh twenty thousand. If you go on a lease, the rental value is one lakh twenty thousand. The corporate tax is fifty percent. I. the depreciation return down value is at 20% the asset will have a salvage value of rupees 180000 at the end of the fifth year discount factor at 18% percent, 0.847 point 0.718 point 0.609 point 0.513 so the company want you have to advise the company about the lease or by decision either to take on lease either to buy whichever is favorable you have to say so there are two chances are one buying the particular asset or going on lease which is favorable we'll move on now steps to be followed first calculation of loan installment loan installment is amount of the loan pv factor 5 lakh 3.127 how you get this 3.127 no if we all add all the discount factor it will come to 3.127 so if we divide it will come 1 lakh 59898 i will repeat we can get 3.127 if we add all this figure Point eight four seven point seven one eight point six not nine point five one six point four. If we add all these things, we can get three point one two seven divide. It will come one lakh fifty nine eight ninety eight. So we'll go schedule of loan payment. The loan amount is five lakh. Your installment is one lakh fifty nine eight ninety eight. Interest at eighteen percent on five lakh is ninety thousand. If we deduct no from one lakh fifty nine eight ninety thousand, it will come sixty nine thousand eight ninety eight. The balance loan is four lakh thirty thousand one not two. I will repeat. Your major loan is five lakh. Your installment is one lakh fifty nine eight ninety eight. So interest is eighteen percent of this ninety thousand. If we deduct this interest. We'll get sixty-nine thousand eight ninety-eight from this figure. Deduct this; it will come four lakh thirty thousand one not two. Four lakh thirty thousand one not two. Your installment is one lakh fifty-nine eight ninety-eight. Eighteen percent on this amount, seventy-seven four one eight. The principal money become eighty-two four ninety four eighty. Deduct three lakh forty-seven six twenty-two. Three lakh forty-seven six twenty-two. Your installment is one lakh fifty-nine eight ninety-eight. The eighteen percent of this amount, sixty-two five seventy-two. The balance principal money 
ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് or we can have the interest 34381 one or two rupees may be difference then we move on calculation of depreciation amount is 5 lakh 20% is 1 lakh so the balance amount is out of 4 lakh 1 lakh gone what's the balance 4 lakh and this 20% 80000 then 3 lakh 20000 64000 2 lakh 56000 if we direct to 3 lakh 26 to 2 lakh 56000 20% is 51 200 then 2 lakh 4000 20% is 40000 these are all the depreciation then more calculation of them so your loan amount is out this is cash outflow interest is 45000 already calculated division is 50% if we add these two is equal to 95000 total out of 1 lakh 59 95 has gone save your in flow is 64 net flow is 64898 second year 387 plus add 78709 deduct balance is 81189 third year 1 lakh 59898 31 plus 30 to 63286 so balance is 96612 One lakh fifty nine eight ninety eight twenty two five twenty seven twenty five six hundred forty eight one twenty seven. The balance amount is one lakh eleven thousand seven seventy one multiplied by eight four seven multiplied by discount factor seven one eight then point six not nine fifty eight thousand fourth year here twenty two five twenty seven. Your division is twenty five six hundred forty eight one twenty seven deduct. It is one lakh. Eleven thousand seven seventy one. Discount factor is point five one six. Multiply it will come fifty seven six seventy four. Next year one lakh fifty nine eight ninety eight twelve thousand one ninety is a interest. Fifty percent division twenty thousand four eighty thirty two six seventy. Cash flow one lakh twenty seven one sixty two point four three seven fifty five five seventy. Two total cash outflow is two lakh eighty five. Total present value two lakh eighty five three forty five. The salvage value at the end of the fifth year one lakh eighty thousand. But the value of the rupee one rupee that time is equal to point four three seven. At the end of the fifth year, the value of one rupee is valuing how much money forty three paisa. And one lakh eighty thousand become seventy eight thousand six sixty. If we deduct this amount, it will come. Two not six seat. This is a inflow. This is a, this is a cash outflow. This is cash inflow. Salvage value is inflow. So what is the amount available? Two not six six eighty four cash flow under buying option. If you go same thing for leasing, your rental value is one lakh twenty one to five years. Every year you pay the rent of one lakh twenty thousand. Tax at fifty percent sixty thousand. The balance left over is sixty thousand. For five years, your discount factor is three point one two seven. So it become one lakh eighty seven six twenty. There are other methods also. One lakh twenty. This is fifty percent. The balance sixty. So sixty thousand. The first year discount factor. Second year discount factor. Third year discount multiply. It will come three point one two seven. I what I did no. I add the all the discount factor. It is equal to three point one two seven. Your rent remains the constant. So fifty percent gone. Sixty thousand is cash outflow multiplied by three point one two seven is equal to one lakh eighty seven thousand six twenty as per the lease option. So as the PV of the cash outflow under lease option, 
lesser than a uh, lesser than pv of cash outflow under buying option it is advisable to take the asset on lease so lease option or less or lesser than pv of cash outflow under buying option it is advisable to take the asset on lease this is a first problem then we'll go to second problem krishna limited has a proportion to take a missionary on lease from rama limited the information is as under lease term 4 years fair value at inception of lease is 20 lakh lease rent 6 lakh 25000 per annum at the end of the year guaranteed residual value 1 lakh 25000 expected residual value 3 lakh 75000 implicit interest rate is 15% discount rate at 15% first year 0.8696 second year 0.7561 fourth year 0.6575 this if the discount rate is not given we can go with the formula 15% can be calculated 1 divided by 1 plus r to the power of n this is 1 divided by 1.15 to the power of first year second year third year fourth year the value will come if the discount factor is not given what's the formula 1 divided by 1 plus r to the power r means the rate 1 plus r to the power of n this is nothing but 1 divided by 1 plus point So it will come one point one five to the power of one first year. Then, if we apply with the calculator equals second year, third year, fourth year will come. So the values are cash inflow is twenty lakh here. This count five point eight. Multiply this. You multiply this. We'll get the value seventeen lakh thirty nine two hundred. Then you have got a second one. This is over. Lease rent. First is lease term. Lease. This is your lease. Then lease rental. How much is then? Six lakh twenty five thousand into point seven five six one is equal to four lakh seventy two five sixty three. Then we have got a guaranteed residual value one lakh twenty five thousand into point six five seven five eighty two one eighty eight fourth year. You got a. Expected residual value three lakh seventy five thousand multiplied by point five seven one eight. It will come two lakh fourteen thousand one twenty five. Total value of the lease liability twenty five lakh eight thousand seventy six. Ah, this is for five months. Ah, this is for ten months. Ten mass questions. The second question is: This is problem number five mass. Five mass question. Easy. Just multiply the discount factor. What's the value we got? So this type will come. We have newly introduced now. So the least method will come like this. So just multiply with the discount factor. The answer is so much. Hope you understand. So I have solved the two problem, one major problem ten marks, one subordinate problem five marks. Totally three plus one four we have solved. I think you understand this very easy. This is the last chapter we have got in the first year. We already solved the three major problem, one subordinate problem of five marks. Goodbye. Hope you understand. So we'll meet in the next session with another problem. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next session.